All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different than what I would normally cover on the channel. I've been getting a lot of messages saying that DaVinci Resolve takes up way too much space on their computer, especially when projects are done. What I interpret this as is that a lot of the people messaging me are running out of hard drive space. So without further ado, let's get right into this and see how we can clear up some hard drive space on your computer. So the first thing is when you're done with a resolve file, whenever you've exported your video, you know you're not going to come back to this. What you should be doing is going under the playback section and deleting the optimized media. Another one that you should be doing is deleting the render cache. Between the two of these, they're going to take up an absolutely massive amount of space. So you should definitely be clearing both of these whenever you're done any projects. Now, another spot that you can do this exact same task is in here. So this is where I export my videos. So I created a file called resolve output and you can see it right here where I have the cache clip. That's a folder created by DaVinci Resolve specifically for render caching. Now I clear this out on a weekly basis and I'm only doing this YouTube video and uh, a couple of very quick 15 to 30 second videos for my realtor page on a weekly basis. So very minimal workload. If we go into the properties, we can see that it is 121 gigabytes taken up in only a week's worth of work. So it's definitely a good idea to start clearing these out. Now, if you wanted to delete this, what you can do is just double click on this, highlight everything and hit the delete button. It's going to effectively do exactly the same thing as if you were clearing it out within DaVinci Resolve itself, except this way, it's going to clear out every project that you have in the backlog. So use this one if you're like me and you only have a specific a number of videos that you work on and when you know you're done with everything, you can clear it out this way. Otherwise, if you have multiple videos on the go, you can just hop into here, delete the optimized media and delete the render cache and this will only delete it for that one particular project that you currently have open. So if you have a backlog of them, you're probably better off going the other method. But if you have videos that you are still working on and don't want to delete the render cache, then this is the way to go. And I hope that helps some of you out. If the video was helpful, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I'd like to make videos that you want to see. So let me know what it is that you'd like to see going forward. And uh, if it was helpful, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content that's coming out. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.